اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الف لام را تلک آیات الكتاب و قرآن مبین رب ما يود الذین کفروا لو کانوا مسلمین ذرہم یأکلوا و یتمتعوا و یلہہم العمل فصوف یعلمون صدق اللہ العظیم With the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we are beginning our study of Surah Al-Hijr. As I told you, this is the third of the second subgroup of the Makki Surahs. The two we have read already, they are a pair. Surah Al-Rad, Surah Al-Ibrahim. Now if you compare the number of ayat, if you add up the ayat of Surah Al-Rad and Surah Al-Ibrahim, they come to 95 and 13 rukus. While we have in this Surah, 99 ayat in 6 rukus. This surah belongs, as I told, to the early Meccan period. And because, you know, of to break the monotony, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has placed this surah among these surahs which were mostly revealed in the later, rather the last four years of the Makki period. And this is the last of the series of Zilla Amra. Alif Lamra tilka ayatul kitabi wa Quran in Mubin. These are the ayat of the book and Quran which is clear and manifest. Robama Yabadul Ladina Kafaru Laukanu Muslimin. A time will come when those who disbelieved will very often wish that they were Muslims. That is in the hereafter, when they will be thrown in the punishment. In the fire of hell, they will be wishing if they were Muslims. Leave them, O Muhammad Let them eat and let them enjoy this life. This is Amal. Preoccupied with their desires, with their hopes of this world. Very soon they will come to know what is going to be the result? And we didn't destroy any city, any township. But for that there was a decreed term. No people can increase their term, nor they can put it back. Neither they can anticipate it, nor they can postpone it. وَقَالُوا يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِي نُزِّلَ عَلَيْهِ الزِّكْرُ إِنَّكَ لَمَجْنُونَ And they said, O oh, you who thinks that on him the reminding has been revealed and sent down, we think about you that you have gone crazy. You are a possessed person. Now we know it for sure that this was said to the Prophet ﷺ in the very early days after the Wahib started coming to him. This was the first reaction of the people of Makkah. Perhaps he has been possessed by some evil spirit. Perhaps, you know, has, he has gone crazy. Maybe he has lost his mental balance. Maybe he had some hallucinations. He thought an angel had come to him while nothing had happened to him. So this was the first, first reaction. Because most of the people of Makkah, they didn't know what is prophethood. Because, you know, in this line of the progeny of Hazrat Ibrahim والسلام, after Hazrat Ismail, you know, about 3,000 years had passed between Ismail and Muhammad There was no prophet, no messenger of Allah sent to the, this, this area or to this, this progeny of Ibrahim والسلام, No book was given. So actually it was something very strange for them. وَقَالُوا يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِي نُزْدِلَ عَلَيْهِ الزِّكْرُ إِنَّكَ لَمَجْنُونَ لَوْ مَا تَعْتِينَا بِالْمَلَائِكَةِ هِنْ كُنْتَ مِنَ الصَّادِقِينَ Why don't you bring us angels if you are from among the truthfuls? If you are correct, if your claim is okay, you, are, you have been sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, bring the angels. مَا نُنَذُلُ الْمَلَائِكَةَ إِلَّا بِالْحَقِّ We don't send down the angels except with the final verdict. When we have to destroy a nation, we send the angels. Just as we have read, you know, 
that the angels were sent to the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah and they destroyed, they brought the chastisement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to those cities. The angels are not sent to convey the message. One angel, Jibrail, he has been conveying the message to the prophet, to the messengers, but not to all of men. Now the angels are sent, then you know when their term is over, to bring that justicement on them. And then they will not be given any respite. No more time. Inna nahnu nazzalna zikra wa inna lahu lahafizun. We have sent down this reminding. And surely we are its protectors and guardians. Now by the word zikr, what is meant here is Quran. Why Quran is called a zikr? The reminding. As I've told you many a time, potentially the human nature is imbued and endowed with the knowledge of truth. The spirit we have within us is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it has all the essential knowledge but in a potential form. When wahi comes, it testifies. So actually, this is a sort of reminding. Zikr. Inna nahnu nazzalna zikra wa inna lahu lahafizun. Wa laqad arsalna min qablika fi shia il awwaleen. And we sent before you also so many messengers in, in the ancient nations and sects. Wa ma yaatihim min rasulillah kanu bihi astazihun. But it has been the practice, common practice of all those nations. That never came any Rasul, any messenger of Allah to them. But they mocked at him. In this way, we let that mockery and kufr enter the hearts of the guilty. And it is established in them. They don't believe. They don't come to believe. When you know a revelation is sent to them, and the so, example of the ancients have already been gone by. And had we opened out to them a gate in the heaven, and they went on ascending into it, that is, if they were shown this miracle. They will definitely say that our sights have been intoxicated. Our eyes have been intoxicated. We have been bewitched. Sorcery has been done to us. Magic has been done to us. It was not a real miracle. Had we shown them all the miracles they demanded, they would say this. And certainly we have set in the heaven constellations and adorned it for the beholders. The sky, how beautiful it looks, you know. So many candles burning. So many lamps of different intensity. And we have guarded it from every accursed Satan. Except whosoever steals some hearing from them. Fatma, who is pursued by a manifest flame. 